Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for more Let's Play Baldur's Gate. Yes, if you wish. In this installment, we will revisit an area we very briefly visited early in the game, the lighthouse. Uh. And we can see on the minimap that we uh, already explored this part. We went here briefly, we picked oh, up Sifan. Perhaps we'll survive longer than I had originally thought. And then we traced our steps back, because this is a very dangerous area for level one characters. Actually it's really suicide. But at our current level we should be okay. What? And Zekal could learn another level three priest spell, so we'll give him a uh -huh. Uh -huh. Summon yeah, yeah. undead. Oh, a couple of wargs. Your worthless lives end here. Jalkalana Natha. Yes, dear. Uh, onward. Penalty. Yes. What? I'll do anything. Oh. Uh -huh. It is done. All right, so first let's explore the uh, western portion of the map. And we find a lady standing there, apparently in distress. Oh, I fear if that's your desire. Let's talk to her. Are you a friend? Please help me, I don't know where else to turn. My little boy, was, little boy was playing in that abandoned lighthouse to the northwest when a pack of works surrounded it. Please just turn them back and I can coax him down. There's not much time. And what will be my reward? I don't do charity. I cannot write for long, for I am faced with a pressing emergency. Works having surrounded an abandoned lighthouse to the west, and poor Arduin's son is trapped within. Mitimora bless the peasants of this land, for their lives are never easy. Sometimes I can't agree with the writer of the journal. Yes, as I thought. Why would I believe in Timora? And where is that lighthouse? I guess uh, a bit more to the north, okay. There's a stone wall here. We're old, whatever. And what seems like an entrance. Yep, it is. And indeed, we find wargs inside. So let's dispose of them, it's not like we have much of a choice. And everyone gains 120 XP. Yet with pleasure. Now let's see, this house looks abandoned. You peer inside and see only rotten beams and debris. Same for this, and same for this. Too bad we can't actually see the top of the tower. Kind of a, an, an engine limitation, but one that's really unfortunate. But yeah, that used to be a lighthouse and this is where uh, the area gets its name from, huh? and also its icon on the main map. If you wish. That said, let us see if by any chance we get a reward out of uh, Arduin for disposing of the wargs. I'll do of course, darling. Are you a friend? Thank you so much, you've probably scared him as much as the works. I'll coax him down once you've left. Here, this money is all my husband brought back from market this past week, but take it. My son's life is worth this, and so much more. Mm. 
60 gold. I keep very well, uh, for about five minutes of work, that is not too bad. Oh, perhaps we'll survive longer than I had originally thought. So there appears to be a road here, so we'll follow it. And alongside that road, another woman, this one dressed in red robes. She seems to be a wizard. Oh, I fear if that's your desire. Well, let's talk to her also. Pleasure to meet you. Who might you be then? Ah, great adventurers, no doubt. I could tell by your hands. Stained with magic and the effort of hefting a weapon. Such markings may be invisible to the average eye, but I can see them plain as day. I can see a lot plain as day. Care for a consultation? Perhaps a little old-fashioned palm reading? A little gypsy magic to steer your course straight and true? I see no harm in a little divination on your part. Here is my palm. What does it tell you? Let's have a look now. Interesting. Though you live the hard life now, your hand tells of a softer existence not long ago. I assume that you have just recently taken to the road. That is... Uh, that much is true, yes. Do go on. I thought as much. Let's have a little closer look now. Back down your lifeline. I see a scholarly influence, and you are well educated. You had a mentor that was a great sage. Perhaps of considerable power as well. Yes, my father, f my foster father Garin was a sage, and a bit of a mage as well. Go on. You had a reasonably happy childhood with him, aside from being a little difficult. My, my, but you were quite a little hellion. Wonder what the where that comes from? Let's see what we can't learn about you back before this Garin. Oh, interesting. Further back, I see. I see. Madre de Merced! I see a long and happy life for you and yours. Ten gold, please, and I'll be on my way. What? What is it that you saw? I saw nothing! You will live long and enjoy life, and I will be going now! Back from me! You must tell me, please, dear lady. I have told all, all I am going to. Stay back from me! Your life is none of my affair! Please, I don't mean to be rude. Just tell me what your vision revealed. Stay away from me! I'll warn you! I'll not, I, I'll not let you near me! And with that, she will yes. actually attack us. Out of uh, yeah. desperation, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Well, too bad we'll have what to defend ourselves, but I had much preferred knowing what she saw. And with that, we are attacked by wars. At least one war. So she tried to trace our history back to before uh, Garion, and she was so horrified by by what Your she saw that um, she attempted to escape with her life, with as if we were, you know, the most dangerous murderers she ever saw. I don't know. But that would be coherent with uh, the dreams we had that uh, suggested a dark heritage. We'll have to investigate that further. So, let's see, where are we? I don't see much because it's so dark. Can I assist you? Oh. We meet with a certain Polonia. I know why you're here. It's the same reason everyone else comes to see me. And you shall get the same answer. I do not know where the iron shortage will let up. I have no clue as to who, who controls the bandits in the area. And I have no interest in accompanying you to the gambling tables and ballers gate. Pardon me, but if you do not trouble yourself with the events of the day, what purpose do you do your stargazing serve? What purpose? 
The Sword Coast is by no means the center of the universe. Lives and dramas are lived out across the realms. There are lands closer that you would think that neither know nor care about our little problems. And what of these lands? What intrigues lay beyond our borders? Well, just across the southern mountains there are troubles brewing in great arm that will make our current concern seem small by comparison. To the far north there is a city where winter never rears its ugly head, a city that, does, that has not been seen nor heard from for many a year, but will soon welcome the return of a multitude of citizens. Both of these events will unfold regardless of our current troubles. Great may be our concerns, but much more is on the horizon. Leave me be. I have much to think upon. This, uh, I think, is basically Lord Foreshadow number two. And here he actually foreshadows the next two games of Bioware. Uh, the Trouble Brewing in Arm, uh, foreshadowing Baldur's Gate 2, which takes place there. And uh, the city where winter never rears its ugly head, obviously never winter. So, foreshadowing never winter nights. So apparently, uh, Bioware did have both Baldur's Gate 2 and Neverwinter Nights planned as they were working on their first game, which is quite impressive. 